Welcome back to the channel. We purchased the four units for $8,300. We got good news. Public storage did call us, and so we are going to go out there tomorrow morning, pay for that one. So sorry about it being out of kind of whack. So look, we bought tubs, brand new tubs. I've got small ones, big ones, all with lids. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get these out. We're going to unbox the rest of this unit with you. All of the sellable stuff that we're keeping is going to go in these tubs in this truck. And I've got someone who's going to come pick this stuff up. And then we're going to head over to the next collectible unit. A few moments later. All right, guys. I think Jean is already digging it. It's nice um, stuff. It does look nice. Top on it. Look at this. Oh, nice little unique little handles on it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep this wrapped up, but man, this is a really, really heavy duty solid wood piece of beautifulness. Look, oh, you know what? that looks like little drawers. This it is a oh, yeah, little knobby knobs, a little jewelry maybe cabinet okay i'll have gina cut that open in a minute okay so look we cleared this y'all there's like TV. these are perfect condition but there's tv 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 oh here's the table and i guarantee it's going to be just as nice solid wood as like this look at all this nice wrap furniture so oh the desk is it stuck in the drawers because he knows that's my favorite that's right, it does but it's a nice desk see that big box out there with the horns that's all personal stuff so hey y'all check this out this dude might be a pro golfer he had a foundation everything we're finding all the stuff is definitely his stuff so depending on what i find out by the end of this unit maybe by the end of this video i'll let you know who he was but definitely uh this is i would consider this a celebrity unit this one is full of like this is texas yeah, this is nice. santa yeah it's pretty cool seems to be all all there his horns are intact fingers are intact um there's some basketballs in here so y'all i do i think this dude was a well i think he was was definitely would be considered a celebrity a lot of people knew who he was okay got little boxes mm -hmm. are there anything in them so, nope and nope all right i might take these gloves off they're so slippery look at that it's golf and it's oh, fossil cool. it's a little desktop desk so we're gonna keep that just because if it was regular just a regular old one i wouldn't but we definitely oh and we got well i don't know that's weird to have a stone like that and this you think this like came from the building or yeah some kind part of, of a building or something part of something we're hang on to it <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay look oh we got mrs claus oh, that's with cute. a little elf hook em horns Texas Mrs. Claus, pretty cool. We'll put those together. This is kind of cool. It says Ford PP and K competition NFL first place award, age eight, nineteen sixty seven. That's pretty interesting piece right there. Ah, uh, oh, it's broke. Oh, it's broken. There's something that's supposed to be on top. Oh, oh but look. Oh my goodness. Lots of there's nineteen sixty four. Oh, there's a quarter in the bottom. You think it's silver? Could be. Here's what I'm doing. So he had a lot of clothes, and he had a lot of, like, name brand stuff, like, I mean, all polo chaps, but it's a little bit older stuff, so nice. But I'm not keeping that stuff. I ain't got time for clothes right now. So here's some of the stuff that I am going to keep in here. This is a Texas Cowboys Poke Open 1980 hat, the year I was born. 2014 NFC East hat for the champion, or Cowboys. 2016 NFC champs for 2016 and another Dallas Cowboys t-shirt that will be in the auction. Kind of cool. So here's a little bit of our process too. So these are all like Scottish hats. The Scotch House, London, Paris, made in Great Britain. This is another one, same thing. They're in really nice condition, but they're just dusty. So we're keeping these for sure. We're going to sell these. So these go into a sell box down there. I'm going to keep these because these have his name like stitched inside. And like I'm telling you, I think I'll let you know. Some of y'all might be figuring it out by now. Las Colinas Sports Club. These old visors. What is this? Beat Shop. Luke's Beat Shop. Oh, That's kind of cool. That's little funny. mullet. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. Let me go through this box and go through all of his clothes. Because look, like, you know, these are all polo. And he got them dry cleaned and stuff. So they're very nice clothes. Uh, but again, we're only going to keep what I feel is collectible. So the only thing I'm keeping are these Nike um, uh, UT 
wind pants are in like perfect condition but look at this i mean it's all nice like really nice polo that's uh, like dockers these look old polo sweat or sweaters um and so just i mean really really nice stuff it's just i don't have the time to sell it so i'll give it to someone who can finding a bunch of yearbooks highland uh, look highlander 1975 look at this book i'm covering his name up but this is a highland park scott's district 10 4a state quarter finalist and then if you go in here look there's the teams it's just all these look buttons the scores the newspaper articles so this is this is a very very interesting uh gina cut these open look at this it's like just it looks like painted but these are look like solid wood but it's two nightstands turned upside down is that what it is oh and this is a different color isn't it yeah it's a whole different style okay so maybe the, oh yeah that's an upside down that's the drawer okay so that is upside down so look two very nice uh nightstands but we're gonna leave those in the unit all right guys this is like a it looks like an entry table doesn't it, does. it? very nice solid wood let's make sure there ain't no treasures it oh, smells goodness. like nice wood in Not there really. but yeah look that's a nice you know we need a console don't we does that color? Oh, no, yeah, that doesn't match our new match furniture. Our we just got new bedroom furniture, just like mid-century modern. So, definitely wouldn't match. And he, oh, what's that? Maxi Pass? <laughs> Front Deviant Fronte? I don't know. That's like a French Maxi Pass. There's all these really nice, like, ties, like, made in England. Um, so, oh, Ireland, stuff like this. What is this? What kind is this? This is a uh, made expressly for Caldwell and Son. Hmm. Might be expensive. This is really nice. It's like a look, very detailed, just like a, a display cabinet or wood shelf. But it's, it's actually it's really heavy. It's so solid wood. This is shrink wrap shelves. There's three. There's two going that way and one going that way, and they all have banker boxes that's ran wrap. So, all right. So, uh, this table is really killer. I'm not going to keep it. Listen to that. Yeah, Look at that, though. That's cool. Look at these grates, y'all. This, so, this is like a, a mid century modern. It's super heavy. Those are little panels, but really cool uh, coffee table. Uh, what did I show you? What was this? Oh, that's a cabinet. I showed you this. This is a, the console. Okay, Polo Sport. Who remembers Polo Sport? Let me know in the comment. If you was rocking, if you was in the 90s in high school, you was rocking Polo Sport. Keeping that. I'm not keeping stuff like this. Look, this is a brand new blender in there. Uh, like, this is a really nice, you know, set of knives and just home decor. Uh, like, boxes and boxes of Polo Gap, all that stuff. I am keeping this. This is a pewter uh, Texas tray. I'm keeping these just because these are super cute. We'll wipe these down. But look, they're little napkin rings. So that's a set. We'll put these in the auction. Uh, I kept this as a big old brass duck. Just like brass, you know. And then the chain to found more money. This oh, is... Nice yeah, it's like a cut piece of... I don't think that's... Oh, yeah, that is that is copper. So he paid 60 bucks for that whenever he bought it. But that's a clock. We're going to keep that. Okay, y'all. So here's the deal. I just found this pamphlet on the story of this guy so here's the story on him like right here i'll just kind of whoop there it is but it's got the pictures from so basically he was about to graduate with honors from ut he was about to get married and him and some of his fraternity brothers got in a drunk driving accident you're like oh well you shouldn't be telling this y'all he had like eighty thousand flyers with this story and i'm pretty sure it's public knowledge <laughs> so it basically hit a wall back concussion he's had to walk with a cane and he started this foundation uh for don't be a fool basically driving uh but his last name is yeah i said last name it's well, now y'all figure it out put the pieces together by the end of this unit you should probably know who it is you probably ought to google it but that's the story that story you could google and figure out who it is all right so we're keeping that i'm working my way back here i started cut, cutting open this box this is the first thing that came out that's pretty yeah we, we might keep some of these because i like these yeah Ooh, you know but that one's pretty. orange so that's pretty i don't know if i'm gonna keep all these because they don't ever really do the best like big bulky stuff like shipping you know uh -huh. and people right now especially right now are going to be spending their money in other places yeah look it's just more of this glass you know that look really pretty there three vases one something but that's a really pretty bowl okay guys so here's another one 
look a little was that bud vase or something but it's, it needs to be cleaned out i can feel moisture on it just from being out here in the 20 degree weather so i'm guaranteeing look in here show them in here look i'll have gina i don't know we'll unwrap this we might keep a couple but i'm not keeping all this stuff just because again but i kind of this feels like this is gonna be one of those big old weird shaped bowls you want to cut that open yeah that's pretty cool. It's not, it's not anywhere close to what I thought it was. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. Yo, that's like granite. That's heavy. Look at this. It's a mallard duck lamp on like a hard piece of green granite. That's pretty sweet. This is a lamp. It's that co it's copper. It's cut out. It's a oh, big old cool. lamp, UT. I don't know if I showed you this, but this is really cool. I almost want to keep this, but this like does not go with our house at all. No. But, I mean, what <laughs> does go with our house? But look, this is like lined. This is super heavy, and then this is metal made to look like a palm tree we're gonna leave that here we're keeping this i think we're gonna probably leave the vases hey y'all i saw something down in the bottom of this box i ain't told gina yet that's for his dogs in the study bible hey real quick hey we sent out a lot of bibles we have a lot more that are going out this week uh oh, wait, this week no this next week, week we'll yeah we'll do it uh next thursday we'll have a whole nother load we got cases going to africa we got a lot of Bibles going out. So, hey, if you need a free Bible, email us at grimesfinds.com. No, grimesfinds. <laughs> Grimes, Sorry. You ain't helping me. Grimesfinds at gmail.com. All right, let me show you what. I, there's something heavy in there. Let me show you what I saw down here. Look. You see that? That's, that's shotgun shells. What? Shotgun shells? Yeah, look. Yeah. Those shotgun shells. The bottoms to crutches so if you if you need buy new bottoms to your crutches i'm your guy let a brother know that's it this is a very very pretty it's very heavy very heavy but pretty lady down by the river doing something this lady over here is doing the same thing so is this lady so look at this old horn i found I know that's so cool. Yeah, I, but look how it's cracking. So I don't really want to squeeze it too hard uh -huh. because it's it might it might break. But that looks like a legitimate old school horn. It felt like this bottomless glass pit, glass pit, <laughs> glass beer mug, and this is pretty cool. It's old, old Stein. It's a Dallas Cowboys, uh, nineteen seventy something Super Bowl Stein. Oh, there's that white globe I found. I want to get to. I'm going to sell that probably on Marketplace because it's so heavy. Uh, but look, we got to go through all these racks. We have all these boxes to go through. There's an old, like, set of wood golf clubs back here. Oh, that's cool. They're wrapped up. These are, like, some really nice cabinets. Look at this. It's kind of a little ornate-looking cabinet. It's, like, shaped like books. But I just don't have time to deal with all the furniture this time. Or maybe if we ever open up a spot, a little auction house again, I might put this kind of stuff in there. Because, you know, we could. We could, like build up a whole auction a month i know do we one could. big one a month i don't know y'all let us know local people would you like that if we went to doing one local one a month where you could pick up because that way we just take this stuff back but now i'm, I'm gonna give this stuff away just because i got to get and go you're probably like that's crazy justin it is crazy because like look at all this look it's all solid wood stuff furniture table and so and then i'm gonna leave these shelves too um and then let's see let's look at some stuff up here this is really cool. It's super heavy, but it's see-through. And I saw a signal. Look, it's signed. Uh huh. 06. So oh, that's cool. I like that's going to that. be hard not to sell. That might have to go, in, have my to house. go in the house. I know. Keeping the old phone. There's really nice. Like I don't know if they're they're bronze, but they're crystal. But there's a set of lamps. Uh, I found some old school. Uh, that's the football jersey. That's an old Scots jersey. Uh, this is super old. It's Duxter. But look, it's Texas. Oh, you know, I don't cool. know. Yeah. yeah, I found that was another uh, high school shirt. This is a NCAA Texas Longhorn 06 Rose Bowl. Remember watching that game? Look, Gina found some more over here. All right, here's one she found. Texas University. That's a definitely older. Yeah, it's older. Uh, Galton Sam, what is this? Oh, Highland, Highland Park. Park Varsity Football. We're going to put this in the personal uh highland park I'll pro i might i don't know i might keep that one this is probably i'm going to consider this personal obviously because um but if he passed away i'll probably keep it unless the office says they have family members coming so because they're supposed to have an emergency contact so we'll leave it in the personal but man i'd like to keep that because that's a little local history 
thing is super heavy. It just like crushed my finger. But look at this. You see the mother of pearl? Oh, that's very Okay, pretty. so I found these online and we have two of these different colors, different models. Uh, this one I saw online, they were asking anywhere between 800 to 1200 a piece and anywhere I think between like 600 and 900 on the other one. So I think easily we got at least a G, but maybe like 1500, you know, to 2000 envelopes. It's heavy as crap. Uh, very, I don't know if it's bronze, maybe like a cast bronze. Uh, it's hollow, but it's metal. But this sucker, yo, look, is super duper heavy. We're gonna clean it up. It's got some dust on it. I uh, found these really nice uh, seal of the State of University bookends. These are really nice, y'all. These are brass. Yeah, I like this. Super big bookends. Love those. We found this uh, Ebby Holiday book. It's autographed by her. Uh, this was kind of cool. So all his whole, <coughs> excuse me, all his canes are in the back. Oh, really? <coughs> all the ones from it. It looks like it might have got progressively worse. Mm. This is the only one I kept because it was kind of collectible with the duck head in on it. Um, and then there was like this carved bat. I know, that's neat. You know, it's like, listen. Oh, well. Well, that is. <laughs> not making my point. No. Nope. See? Yeah. Very, very heavy uh, Mexico bat. <coughs> I thought this was going to be Toadstool for Mario. It's not, but it's still got a little tag on it. Toy Factory, so we'll keep that. These were pretty cool. There he goes. Um, this, this book is signed by the author, Bob St. John. Um, so we are going to put these together in the auction. We kept those. I just kept this because I thought it was fun. It's for Christmas time. It lights up. And it's got all these different songs on it. Um, this is really heavy. This is this would go on a camel saddle. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, But that's missing. But look. Is this not sweet? That's really Y'all, cool. this is like super thick leather. And it's like really, really heavy. So I know a UT fan is going to want that. All right, guys, so we saw a bunch of pictures of him in, like, with pro golfers. We found a pro, his pro golfer badge. Or it said, what was he? He's a member of the just the pro golf league or something. So, but look at all these old Spalding. These are wood. Oh, yeah, those are Yeah, cool. these are sick. So, the I think these might have been in some of the pictures with him. But we'll look all these old Spaldings up and see what these go for. You know, I know that. <clears throat> you know, they used to make like wood shaft ones and stuff, but they'd get bent. So anyway, look at this old bag. Oh, well, let's see what it says here. Desert, spring, resort. Look at all these tags for all these golfing things he went and did. All right, guys, there was probably like, man, I don't know. There's, I mean, there's got to be like, I don't know. Like there's so some, many. There's a lot of furniture, but there's so many like name brand clothes. He had a lot of the, the big boxes like this, the wardrobe boxes. Like, look, this is all polo, like super nice stuff, you know. Uh, here's some more polo. These I'm keeping. This is a, let's see what brand this is. This is a Coliseum. Texas jersey was pretty cool. This little wind jacket, Nike. Thought that was kind of cool. This is like a thick polo, you know. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just feel like that's probably more expensive. There was some more polo right here. I mean, almost all of his clothes are Ralph Lauren, are Polo, Ralph or Tommy Lauren. and stuff. But, like, y'all remember the green. Like, that just says 90s to me is that, that green pattern, uh -huh. Ralph Lauren. So, anyway, I might keep these here for him. I know I'm going to get yelled at for giving these away. But, listen, this is a good deal. Like, he gets all this free stuff. Like, all the furniture, all the blenders, the, the, the I mean, tons of nice wood furniture. Um, so, anyway, that's the deal. So, we really didn't take a lot out of this unit, but between the art, all the bronzes, the... The globes. I mean, the globes, like everything that we've got, like I feel really comfortable about this. And remember, we spent 8,300 on four units. We need to run over to Arlington real quick and pay for that. Oh, are we doing that? We're doing that in the morning. Wait, We're doing that? I don't know. In the morning. In the morning? <laughs> in the morning. All right, guys, so hey, let, let's just end this video here. Tomorrow, we're going to go through the other unit, the one we were finding, the Star Wars, all that great stuff. So I'm that's actually the unit I'm super pumped about. But the one in Arlington totally said vintage to me. So I'm hoping to find a good of vintage gold. Only way to find out is to keep coming back every other night, every other night, 8 p.m. Central, for a live premiere for the next week.